Kalidosis! Aliens! No, 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 I knew it. A couple of them are still lurking around. And Cosmos is not in the room. Great. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! It's invisible right now. You can't do shit, Trankov. Back up. Nope, too late. Chaos! I know. Why are you taking so long then? Chaos! It's okay. He can control the Gnosis. Magic! Touch. Let me- let chaos touch you. And then you cease to exist. just do he made it well, vanish that's what i meant when i said he looks out for us looks out for you how did he just do that i've never heard of a human that can defeat gnosis without there weaponry those and guns who draw well and those who run fast hammer's navigational skills are top notch and his knowledge of the net is vast nerd tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled no one even comes close or so he claims <laughs> The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. <laughs> ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Lip sync Shia, bad. What is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Her bitchiness. Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. He just oh. can. I see. Right. I think I get it. <sighs> it sort of makes sense when you put it that way. That he just yep, can? That's how it is. <laughs> that's all that. What the? How can you be convinced by that? That was a gnosis, Chief. A gnosis! Well, Captain. We better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. You're and man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Matthews Captain, likes pop you music. You actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are sure. you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why you? Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then. I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. <laughs> Damn. Today's been one hell of a day. Poor Matthews. Oh, so I kind of want to know what's up with Chaos's outfit. It's a skin suit. Really, really baggy vest thing. Master and Wilhelm. White shorts. I have shorts. a report from Cosmos. Sean Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. 
Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest, gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. That's Xion's boss. Also, looking at my recording, I've been recording for about 23 minutes and I haven't controlled a single thing thing. What? Damn it, game. Okay, more cutscenes. I think you got some holes in your planet, dude. Just a couple holes. Three or four? Five, maybe? Might want to get that looked at. I think your planet needs atmosphere. Oh. Well then, there's your problem. What's one and a half billion people to us? Uh, <laughs> They're innocents. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect. For One what? and a half billion Save people were on that planet. For someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. You're kind but of a wait. jackass. Pellegri, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. One and a half billion what? people! A message what? from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator, unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. And they never explain what that is. Because this game never explains what anything is. Can I play yet? <laughs> nope. Who am I kidding? This isn't a game. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police. A counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Uh -huh. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. Old a man. How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realiums like we do now. Disposable re oh. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Fuck you, woman. Rumor has it he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane or just fascinated with death? You Always probably shouldn't be smoking, dude. Health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. 4,000 years in the future huh. and cigarettes are still around. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Psychiatrists do a lot of good. Shut well, up, he's jackass. got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. <laughs> Hi, David Bowie! He was actually modeled after David Bowie. That'll be all. I'm not kidding. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? 
Upon your death in TC-4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. <laughs> Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was Christianity. And it remained uninhabited for centuries. No, really, so, it's a church. you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Straight to the point. A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. And they look like kids. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass producing them? Mass producing people. Oh, this is this a game. prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. Oh, that's really sad. Nobody has rights in this I don't damn mean series. I demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. He wants to you be can a get machine. The specifics from her, <laughs> Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. You've been quiet, Yuli. Oh, it's hard to commentate on this game when it's nothing but cutscenes. I love you, Xenosaga, but I want to play. Well, well. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arrive? He's been alive for another hundred years. Worry. I think he's good. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. Oh, he committed suicide and then they brought him back to life to serve as a mercen as a mercenary with no rights. He was brought back to life against his will. Oh dear. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then will he be legally dead. Hmm. Siggy's backstory. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Margulis. Feeling, 100 series realian. I apologize in advance. There Is are the panty shots of the person who's physically 14. Even realians require because Japan. nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. You well, tell him, Momo. Oh my goodness, pardon me. 
And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 Series Realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. <laughs> Jackass. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. She's Assuming not a machine, she's just synthetic. God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything. That may be true. But this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. <gasps> Momo is secretly In a man. Case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, Momo Honey Buns. Mommy, I want to go home to the lab. First time I've ever heard in a series a character actually wanting to return to the lab that they were experimented in. 